Welcome back. Let's talk about franchising, which makes owning a business more attainable for many entrepreneurs. Let's talk about it with one of the founders of Free Phoenix and former front office member for the Charlotte Hornets, Andre Walters. Welcome, Andre. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. So uh, just off the top, how does an entrepreneur get into franchising? Well, I mean, first you have to have uh, an appetite, no pun intended, right, for, for that particular business. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, in our case, tasted a, a donut from Duck Donuts. And, uh, and that was the game changer. You know, I think uh, after trying that, it was it was a no brainer to try and pursue owning a Duck Donuts location. And that's kind of how it came to be. So, Andre, you met your co-founder, Derek Brown, while he was playing for and you were working for the Charlotte Hornets, formerly known as the Charlotte Bobcats. How did this opportunity come about from that relationship? So it's interesting. I mean, you know, obviously we knew each other back then and, um, you know, uh, the years kind of went by and he was independently thinking about getting into Duck Donuts uh, when he was finishing up his playing career. Um, and, you know, at the time I had a location in Atlanta, Georgia, and, uh, you know, as he was pursuing, I guess, his research, he bumped into the fact that I was a part of it already and said, man, I know, I know, I know Andre, right? So yeah. we're a mutual friend of ours, we got reconnected and, um, you know, started talking and it was just like, wow, okay, you, you want duck donuts for the same reasons I wanted and you want to do franchising and we just kind of put it all together, um, to eventually create what we now call free Phoenix. Awesome. Uh, so it was, wow. it was pretty much seamless. It was pretty easy just from, yeah. and what did you learn from the sports world that helped you succeed in the business world when you got there? You know, the sports world obviously is very competitive. Um, and so when it comes to business, uh, especially food franchises, very competitive, yeah. right? There are a lot of substitutes in the food, food game. So, um, you know, what you learn how to do is to fight through that competition and to find a way to win. And I think that's what we've been uh, particularly decent at. So how can Free Phoenix play a role in this equation? Where did uh, Free Phoenix come from and what does it do for the entrepreneurs that you bring in? Yeah, so for us, I mean, the, the mission of Free Phoenix is to enhance lives. And so that's something that, you know, Derek and I got to by a lot of discussion and conversation and just getting to the, to the soul of both who we both are and who we want to be. Um, in the business world, and uh, we agreed upon that. And so one of the things that we do is, you know, we're, we're very uh, focused on creating opportunities as well, not just for ourselves, but, you know, for others. So whether it's partners or customers or employees or, you know, our family members, right, we want to create opportunities for folks um, and have significant impacts in the community that we serve, uh, you know, right now, Charlotte and Atlanta. But, uh, you know, that that's really the focus of Free Phoenix. It's about ultimate freedom, um, again, not just for us, but for, for a lot of people that touch us and interact with us on our quest. So you guys seem very connected to the Charlotte and Atlanta communities. Like, how have you seen them support you? And has that relationship stemmed from the sports world at all? Or uh, what kind of impact do you see your company have in the area around it? Well, you know, I mean, I think um, both both communities have really embraced us in terms of, you know, what we offer, um, uh, particularly Duck Donuts. Now we have a Salada coming, which is a made-to-order salad concept out of Houston, Texas, that we'll be opening up later this year uh, in Charlotte. Uh, but, you know, both communities have always been supportive, I think, for both of us. I've been here since 07, and obviously Derek since 09, and um, you know, nothing but love coming coming from the communities. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it helps to, to have been already a part of it before we launched these uh, locations. Um, and we continue to, to see that kind of support and we continue to want to support uh, both communities. So while you were in Charlotte, did you meet Michael Jordan? <laughs> Everybody asked that, man. You yeah. know, it's, 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 it's funny. I work for him. So, you know, when we talk about front office uh, for the team, I mean, literally our offices were right around the corner from each other. So I know him really well, um, known, you know, known him really well, great, great guy, great dude. And um, it certainly was a fun time to be a part of, uh, of the earlier years of, of his ownership. And, um, you know, yeah, I, I know him well, man. And uh, we, we had a lot of, uh, <laughs> a lot of time to be around each other, I guess you could say, because I helped a lot on the basketball right. side in terms of transactions and trades. So. Um, yeah, that, that was an amazing time. And, you know, uh, obviously he's, he's who he is because of what he's done and what he continues to he, do. So. He's a legend. I mean, there's no legend. other way to put it. Uh, thanks again for coming on, Andre. Uh, before we go, just where can we learn more about you, your 
co-founder Derek Brown and Free Phoenix. So Free Phoenix, uh, Instagram is probably the best place uh, at the Free Phoenix on Instagram, and that's T H E F R E F E N I X. Derek Brown is uh, D Brown X U, um, and mine is Phoenix Dre, F E N I X D R E. Well, Andre, once again, thanks for coming on. We appreciate your time. All right, absolutely, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. And thank you all for watching. Make sure you follow Bold TV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and wherever else you get your content. We'll see you next time.